using them because you find they have a little stand. This I bought from the market, the local market. This was about half a kg and I'm just trying to clean them. So I remove all the sand. I do it like this, guys, I'll show you what I do. You see there's some sand in there. Do you guys see that? <laughs> so I'm trying to clean them to get rid of all the sand. And then I'm going to be... I'm going to be roasting them in my oven. I bought it for around a hundred bob. <laughs> guys, it's very affordable here in Kenya. I bought it for a hundred shillings. That's about sixty dollars. So I think they are clean now. And I'm just going to be draining them for that water. It's quite sandy. So the sandy bits have gotten off. And let me just drain this excess water. And then we're going to be putting them in to roast in the oven for just a few minutes because they cook so fast. And then I'll be showing you how I use them. So guys, if you've watched my broccoli video, I've, I normally wash my vegetables using um, white vinegar or apostida vinegar. So this time I just have white vinegar. So I use about a tablespoon or two. I mix it up with water, about a liter. And this is what I use to clean my vegetables with. And I do this just to remove any residue dirt or any pesticides. And if you're an OG in this channel, you know that we don't throw these away. These leaves we don't throw away, guys. We cook them. The sesame seeds are ready to go in to the oven. I think they've lost enough water, so I'm just going to put them in the oven. But I'm thinking of putting them on a tray first with a piece of cloth to drain the excess water before I put them in the oven. I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. Our sesame seeds are ready to go into the oven. Let me just use some aluminium foil to put on my baking tray so that I set them in the oven to roast. And once they are like this days, once they are roasted, you can put them in a container and store them and use them whenever you need to use them. So this process will make your process easier will make your work easier the next time you need to use them so i'll just put them on my baking tray and bake them in the oven and sesame seeds cook very fast guys so be very careful not to burn them So I'll just put them in the oven and bake them on very low heat. I think a few 15 minutes fast at uh, 150 degrees Celsius just to prevent, to prevent them from burning because they can burn very fast. I want to add 
adding a little bit of oil, this is sunflower oil, about a tablespoon of oil too. So basically I'm just going to be shallow frying this meat until it's ready because it's quite tender. I don't think I need to fry it for a very long time. So I'm putting it on my fire on very low heat and I'm going to cover it. I think I should cook it on this other burner. Yeah, this one is can reduce the flame. This one is not as hot as this flame, right? So here I'll use this burner to cook my vegetables and I'll use a big pot. So here is where I'll be cooking in my vegetables. I'll add in my oil. So I just put in a bit like a tablespoon or so of cooking oil and I'm using sunflower oil guys so guys i have all my vegetables ready to go in i'll be using tomatoes and one onion and um, garlic for my meat for my vegetables i'll just be using an onion and like three cloves of garlic if you want your meat to be tender guys this is the point to put in your garlic it will have a very nice flavor ginger and garlic makes your meat to be soft guys so if you want your meat to be tender you can use if you don't want to marinate it like I did, you can just use ginger and garlic into your meat and have it cook for some time on low heat. That should help. Hey, let me get my grater. So guys, our meat is going on well. As you can see. I'm just going to stir it and then I'll add in some grated ginger and garlic. So in here I'm just going to add in three cloves of chopped garlic. Guys, this is what you do when you're in a hurry <laughs> and you don't use a chopping board. This makes the work much easier and fast. Yeah, that should be enough. I'm just peeling my, my carrot. And it's going to be going into my onion once it becomes golden brown. Here are the carrots and I'm just going to be adding them into my onion. It's already turning golden brown. This is how it looks. Now let me chop up my green. Let me add in the French beans. Oops. Oops. 
finished, guys. <laughs> Let me just replace this. Yeah, so this is black pepper. Cover this for just a short while and let it steam a bit. Let's put this here. Oh, it's quite heavy. Yeah. So our meat is going on well. Yeah. I don't want it to completely dry off. I want it to retain some of this juice. Before that, I can add in my soy sauce. So here I'm going to be adding in my tomatoes chopped add a bit like a tablespoon So let's cover this and steam up. Here's my washed rice. So I'll just put it on the fire. I use this cup to measure out the rice and it's the same cup I'm going to measure out. So I put one of this cup of rice which i cleaned and i'm going to put two cups of water so to cook this rice you use one cup of rice the ratio is one cup of rice to two cups of water so i'm just adding the water this rice is from our farm sometimes i cook it with hot water sometimes i cook it with cold especially when i'm in a rush it cooks perfectly Because it's very good quality so here I'm just adding in one tablespoon of salt and I'll also be adding in about a tablespoon of oil just to prevent it from sticking yeah and I'll cover it partially with a lid to prevent it from pouring over once it boils so let's give it about 10 to 15 minutes for it to boil let's check on our roasted sesame seeds and they are dry guys they are ready wow look at that amazing they are all dry they are all ready yeah, so I'll just transfer this into a container. 